So you'll see in many of Vasil Trif's work, he takes the pieces of the puzzle and he reassembles, reassembles them to make a new entire composition. It's very musical. It's like he's taking different elements mm -hmm. and composing them. I cut it my, my work and I reassembled Oh. So rather than taking from magazines, he takes all of his own art, cuts it up, and then reassembles it. <laughs> When did you start? When did you develop your interest in art? Okay, uh, I'm born in uh, in uh, north of Transylvania. My father is also a priest and uh, is uh, an artist. And I uh, grew in his uh, how they, atelier, in his... Uh, his studio. His studio. He grew up in his father's his studio, studio, art studio. Oh, okay. So, um, I, I watch my, my, my father his painting and he painted a lot of icons on wood and uh, on glass. Of course, what's really important, because he's Orthodox, Protestants and speci specifically Calvinists, they believe in no graven image. So they, mm -hmm. they don't yeah. really present anything. Not ex for them, the only image is that of the Bible. Mm -hmm. In Catholicism, of course, you have iconography with the Virgin Mary mm -hmm. and with the saints. But in the Orthodox tradition, it's much richer, much, and it's a whole school of spirituality. So this is what attracted me to his work, that he was building on a, um, a religious tradition, infusing his spirituality, but giving it a whole new contemporary twist. C'est ça le, le, le défi pour moi parce que je voulais transposer les, les symboles, les, les signes orthodoxes et en même temps euh, euh, des signes de, les signes de, de l'icône sur le vert, mm -hmm. la ligne mm -hmm. et les couleurs mm -hmm. dans, une, dans une autre euh, atmosphère et dans un autre, euh, autre concept. So, so he was saying that his personal challenge as an artist is to draw on this fountainhead of the symbols and the icons of orthodoxy and from its rich tradition in the 1700s, but he wanted to reinterpret it, so he created a new aesthetic environment and a new form of art that goes beyond the standard icons, whether of Christ or the saints or the Virgin. Uh, it's a new, a new paradigm. A new paradigm. So that, that's his, that's his, I would call it his spirit quest as an artist. <laughs> so he, he was just, we, we had a, a discussion earlier today and we were talking about uh, Kandinsky. Kandinsky is one of the great figures of modern art mm -hmm. and Kandinsky was very much inspired by music and so he says, what I love is that this is happening in a church but we're hearing all the colors of jazz, of music, so that it's almost 
a symphony of colors. It's like a, like a mess, <laughs> like a mess, like a liturgy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's liturgy. It's it's like mass. It's like a liturgy. Yeah. A liturgy of the sign or the color. And, uh, when you create, uh, what do you like to do? Do you when you create? Uh, uh, do you put on some music? Do you, uh, do you like to create in nature? Do you like to create in, I, in, uh, in soft light? How do you, what environment do you like? I create in my studio and I listen to the, the jazz. Uh -huh. It's very he give me he give me the 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 the, the, the wings the wings too, too. <laughs> and also I am uh, listening the Byzantine music so it's very spiritual and uh, he give me the, the opportunity to, to focus to focus in my idea because there's a whole musical tradition in orthodox in Christianity and it's the Byzantine choral music so he listens to jazz and Byzantine choral music as the sources of his inspiration. And another source of inspiration is my poetry because I'm also a poet. And uh, a lot of uh, uh, paintings came from my poetry. My, um, uh, the theme of interferation, interferation between the universe. Uh, how do you say, Pesh uh, Miraculous? Uh, um, the miracle of, of Peter and the fishing when Peter pulls up the net and it's full of fish so that became a motif but, for his inspiration yes. yeah. but I uh, transform this image in another image okay? the fisherman is uh, sending mm -hmm. the, how do you say, the, the net nest. The, the, the fishing net. The fishing net uh -huh. in the universe. And we will capture an, an, an uh, angel, a cherubim. Yeah. And the cherubim has a, a lot of eyes. Yeah. It's the symbol of the wisdom, the symbol of the, the, symbol of the connaissance, the, the knowledge. The knowledge. Yeah. And with the permission of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. in my uh, painting, it is symbolized in a, in a demicircle. In a, like a demicircle. Semicircle. Semicircle. So, so he's, he's referencing the standard representation of the Holy Spirit in the Orthodox faith, mm -hmm. which combines the semicircle, the hand of blessing, and the dove descending. So these are the, but, you know, like in music, there's okay. a light motif in an opera. These are light motifs of his art. But the, the essence of my poetry and the essence of my uh, painting is the tension between the human knowledge, the fisherman who is hmm. can to 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 to, uh, to uh, trap, mm -hmm. trap, and uh, the diving knowledge, uh, divine, the, uh, divine knowledge. knowledge of the angel, who has is a has a force. Huh? He right. is he gives the permission to be trapped, right. to be caught, to, to be caught. Mm -hmm. His attention and the marriage. And the uh, interference between the diving knowledge and the, di and the human knowledge. Right. So to create a synthesis between divine and yes. human knowledge. Right. Uh, so and the whole idea that catching the fish is human knowledge, right. but there is the intervention of divine knowledge. So capturing that interstice between the divine and the human. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 I try to, to, to put in my work all this idea. A travers les couleurs, through colors, on essaie de 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 voir l'invisible, de transmettre l'invisible au récepteur. Mm -hmm. So through colors, he endeavors to present the invisible, because the holy, the divine, is ultimately invisible. The closest we can come is through colors. Mm -hmm. I, and I should, this is coming from my own study of orthodoxy and for my doctoral thesis the doctrine of the incarnation is so strong in the orthodox faith
So that's why art is so strong, because it's the spiritual incarnated. It's the divine incarnated. You actually materialize it. You make it concrete. You make it real and tangible. It isn't just pie in the sky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I, I would propose, uh, Reverend Triff, that what happens in your art is that you create, and I'm using the language of um, computer science and of virtual reality, you create portals. And these portals allow us to transit from the human to the divine. Yes, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's where, I think, uh, I think art literature, yeah. I think it's, 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 it's how God wants us to basically slow down and observe. <laughs> observe the environment, observe the divine and the creation of people and the creation of animals and the creation of everything that's in this universe that is all has purpose. <laughs> so I think artists, when you, when you when you look at a piece of art, like, like I told other artists, you, know, you can go to a piece of art, you look at a piece of art, and you can come back and you can see different things. You can see different things based upon, sometimes it touches uh, a human experience, a human uh, an emotion, um, uh, something that was maybe said or experienced. You know, at at a time in your life, and you look at a painting, and you don't, and you wonder mm -hmm. why does this particular painting affect me so? Mm -hmm. Because it may relate to something that touched you mm -hmm. that was, mm -hmm. you know, a knowledge that uh, an experience is there, but you don't even recognize. Mm -hmm. And when you see that painting years later, it's like, wow. Why am I drawn to this painting? Mm, mm, mm. Why am I drawn to this? Mm. Why am I drawn to this piece of music? Mm. What in me, in my spirit, mm. draws me mm. to this? Yeah, that's the dialogue. Don't forget to take a picture. Yeah. Yeah. I could be. <laughs> don't forget to take a picture. Yeah. Oh, it's my pleasure. And I'm very honored. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would almost say because Reverend uh, Triff brought up the, the dove, and the, and the semicircle and the blessing of the Holy Spirit descending. What strikes me about the visual arts in general and the work of Vassil Trif in particular, um, and here I'm going to reference the Pauline epistle to the Romans. When, when the, the question is the Holy Spirit, what is the role of the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is called in theology paraclete. Yes. The one who comes alongside to help us journey through life. And in the Pauline epistles, it's specifically written that when we are speechless, when we're out of words, when we're in such a, way, such a situation, we've lost our voice and lost our way, what does the Holy Spirit do? The Holy Spirit can enunciate the unutterable and that's what his art does what we can't put into words he puts into images i try <laughs> <laughs> it's my uh, how do you say defi in english it's my uh, this is my challenge my, it's my challenge yes yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my challenge Contrast in when you white and black. Are working on a piece. How do you decide it's finished? <laughs> uh, I have a feeling. I, 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 I can't explain because if you put more and more, you can uh, destroy the, the the creation. So I'm trusting my feeling. I, I don't know when I I'm painting. I'm painting. I'm just oh, okay. I got. It. Complete. <laughs> it's a, it's a, a very good question. <laughs> In fact, I, I think his, important, his point is right there. One of the first ways I know when 
somebody is the difference between professional and amateur is that the amateur always adds too much so that they've clouded their message they've blurred their image and when you have a clear-eyed lucid view of what you want to achieve then I know we're among professionals <laughs> I'd have to say from the outside looking in, there's got to be something in the DNA of the Triff family for his father to be an ordained minister, for him to be an ordained minister, for his father to be an artist, for him to be an artist. There's something in the DNA there. <laughs> yes, you know, you're all right. And uh, right. yeah, I had the good fortune to, he shared with me when I did the studio visit, photos of his father working. I mean, and they're thinking on the scale of God because doing art for entire churches, not just for a little frame. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Thank you. 